Well, you know, yesterday I was supposed to vlog at 10 o'clock. Then it became 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and finally, 8 o'clock in the morning rolled around. I was still just finishing my work. And there wasn't any time to vlog. So, uh, this section of the vlog became today. <laughs> so, uh, so we're just starting to vlog now. It's uh, 10 to 6. And uh, what I was working on the weekend was um, was working on the IPT. I did a lot of work on the IPTV. Got things more configured than, than I had before. And you would think that the, the, the IPTV would be something easy, but the thing is, if you don't, if you're not interested in the standard stuff, if you really want the independent IPTV, then uh, it's out there, but it's all over the place. It ha needs to be configured and pulled together, and uh, uh, there's a lot of custom tailoring work uh, once you get it. So that's what 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 the weekend was about is sort of going into the box. Uh, figuring out what was in the box, you know, in terms of the, uh, the electronics and looking at the software, looking at how uh, Linux, the Android, was working in there. Uh, and a, a number of stuff actually came together, enough of it came together that uh, I was able to put together an entire uh, Ubuntu BSD Unix Intel show on it. Uh, I've also worked, got, finished. I had said I was working on the production notes for Beauty and the Geek for week 42, uh, but uh, that actually changed. I went in and, and I'm redoing, I'm redoing, reshooting uh, week 41. That's the the one that's coming up soon, uh, either today or tomorrow. I've got to reshoot it tonight uh, for Beauty and the Geek, and then work on the production notes for uh, week 42. It's more or less done. The production notes are more or less done. It just needs some tweaking, and then uh, it'll be down to filming. And uh, I'll let you know in there exactly what's happening <coughs> episode by episode, what's happening with the production and how the schedule is going for uh, Beauty and the Geek. So Beauty and the Geek is definitely coming back. Uh, you bet the BSD is definitely coming back. Uh, I still have to work in, and I was doing it some work on the weekend uh, for the Kitchen Diner. That's coming coming up. That will be uh, the first episode will be out sometime in October. As well, the uh, first episode uh, for uh, the pilot episode for uh, Wandering should be up sometime in October. In other words, we are going to have more shows coming up, so stay tuned. There will be a lot more upgrading coming up, and you'll be able to sort of pick and choose what you want to see. You know, you know, on, on demand. So right now. We're doing everything on demand, and then, and, and at some point in time, we will be moving towards uh, uh, live TV. But uh, right now, uh, uh, it's a matter of uh, I'm going to my parents for dinner. Uh, I have to get well because because yesterday was uh, a part of the Columbus Day holiday, the Thanksgiving Day holiday for Canada. Uh, I decided to make that all one vlog. So today, Tuesday is the Monday and all the assessment that has to go on to set the week up uh, is being done today so I'll see where things are going uh, for the week and, and as I get back to you after after dinner sometime after dinner probably about eight ten well uh, probably around ten o'clock I'll try to check back in with you guys and uh, let you know how things are going all right see you at ten I suppose we're back here at about uh, ten o'clock it's now four o'clock in the morning this is what happens, everyone says, well, it happens enough that uh, as the research projects sometimes get rather intense and you spend a lot of time focusing on something, uh, you lose track of time very quickly. It also winds up that if you see the times I'm posting the stuff, the times I'm, I'm doing the videos, the, the BTS vlogs or the, the segments following my day, you see sometimes I'm not finished until 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, and that's kind of exhausting. It, it, it wears the body out. So every now and again, every month or every two months or so, something like that, uh, I go into something called crash mode. That's where my body gets exhausted and uh, I start to ha I have to recover some of the sleep that I've lost. And that's actually part of my day. It's, the thing is, I don't sleep fully f for eight hours. I sleep in spurts. 
that eventually what happens is the time catches up and my body is rested again and I can go back to the usual uh, abuse. <laughs> Uh, that mode, the mode that I call the, the, my rest period where uh, I'm trying to repair my body uh, from the exhaustion, that's called, I call that a crash mode because the body crashes, it start, stops functioning the way it should function if the body were well rested and you now are on a, um, uh, on a slowdown. In other words, it takes you longer. And it takes you. Uh, it it, it costs. It, it takes you more effort to get something done than it normally would have would have if you weren't that tired. If you weren't that exhausted. Uh, and so that's what the crash period. And then the crash mode. Crash mode is designed. And I should say not crash period. Crash mode. Uh, that crash mode is designed and should be designed. And this is where, again, the upgrades come in, the different uh, things I've worked on. That while I'm in my regular mode, I can prepare for a crash mode so that I can make the, what I'm doing during the crash mode more efficient. That way I can get more work done uh, in that, uh, that period. In other words, uh, every time I go into crash mode, when I come out of the crash mode, there's an assessment period to see what work I actually did get done in there, you know, how much of a slowdown was it in terms of uh, actual productivity, in terms of the studying, the research, and, and pushing things forward. Uh, I want to know, do, did this uh, have a very serious effect? Uh, if it did have a serious effect, then you've got to kind of figure out, is there a way without cutting down the recovery period, the, the, the recovery part of the uh, crash mode, uh, is there a way to increase your productivity so that you can produce even while you're in this crash mode? And so far, the, the answer seems to be yes. This, the, uh, I have been able to sort of, in these periods, do more than I did the previous time. So, uh, things have, ha have been improving. Uh, during this period, of, uh, I'm in the crash mode now. I'll probably be in it for another week or so. Uh, this crash period, uh, I've got my new setup now, the new research desk with the up, with the major upgrades to it. Uh, I've got uh, Cyborg Alpha Mu, that's the uh, mobile Cyborg Alpha. That's the, 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 more, the mobile part of Cyborg Alpha. Cyborg Alpha is a complex interaction between myself, my computers, and the internet that all form Cyborg Alpha. That's the integration between the computer and the human. And uh, the new uh, the new part to Cyborg Alpha is the Cyborg Alpha Mu. That's what sort of the, part of the upgrade that was going on uh, a couple weeks ago. And now with Cyborg Alpha Mu, I have more opportunity to get more done uh, in periods where I wouldn't be normally getting things done. In other words, uh, it reduces the amount of downtime that I have in terms of functionality without having to expend that much more effort than I already doing even when I'm just sort of sitting there doing nothing. Uh, so that's kind of where things are right now. It's, 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 I've got a few more hours to the day. We'll see how the day progresses. We'll see where my next crash is going to be where I have to go do my recovery mode. So crash mode is I have a productive mode and I have recovery mode. Uh, the recovery mode is I really can't do much of anything except for rest. And then when I, when I get out of the recovery mode, however long it lasts me, uh, I go back into a productive mode. And then, again, the productive mode uh, could be short, it could be longer. And it really kind of depends on the fatigue levels as to when I go back into recovery mode again. So... That still remains to be seen. Um, I'm going to try to keep the production schedules on schedule. I still have to sort of refilm, um, the uh, reshoot the uh, um, Beauty and the Geek episode, and I have to do the Beauty and the Geek episode for this week. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how things work out. It's already Wednesday. My view is is I think I'm going to push off the uh, uh, the. Uh, the episodes and sort of rearrange it so that I'm ahead of the episodes because it's already midweek 
and we're kind of getting into a lag here so I might push things off uh, a couple of days and that's all it would be just a couple of days uh, push it off so rather than uploading today for Beauty and the Geek I'll be uploading on Friday but we'll see how the thing, we'll, see, we'll, see, we'll see how things go we'll see how everything works out uh, I have to get down to the editing desk and sort of fix up the editing desk a little bit more to uh, improve the metrics of the editing desk and that's going to take a bit of work so uh, I will talk to you in a bit. This is, we're in the recovery mode now for today. We haven't started our, our new day yet, so we'll see what ends up happening. All right. Bye-bye. Well, see you in a bit. What, uh, what is it? Uh, 7.30 in the morning. So it's time for another uh, segment. Well, actually, the last segment. Because I'm going to go into bed in a little bit. Yeah, this is, a, this is we're still in the recovery mode. still in the crash mode. Uh, but see... They can go all right. The um, work is getting done. Uh, I'm ready to start tomorrow uh, once again on the uh, Tesla and uh, the Tesla project, or we call it Project Tesla. Uh, that was uh, my research uh, into uh, Tesla. It was and still is my research into um, Tesla and uh, quantum mechanics. Uh, it was from my research in uh, hidden libraries and hidden archives that enough evidence came came uh, to light that uh, that one should go over uh, the work done by Nikola Tesla uh, with the view of quantum mechanics. I don't know whether or not Tesla actually did this. But there seems to be a view that Tesla's work is still pretty well re relevant and there are things in there that maybe um, uh, warrant a second look with quantum mechanics. The question is, uh, how do you go about doing that, particularly since my research facility, I don't have billions in, 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 my, in disposal. I don't have billions at my hand. I have uh, a private facility. Uh, all my funds are generated privately, so uh, that means everything must be either built or uh, reconstructed. And that may seem like a drawback, but it's not necessarily a drawback. Uh, on the electronics engineering bench, this is sort of the decision for the electronics engineering bench, is to do a lot of the work to build the equipment needed for the uh, project for Project Tesla. Uh, and the first year, and it's going to take a year to do this, is, is uh, meters and measurement, uh, looking at... Uh, building, constructing, and then uh, calibrating uh, test, uh, 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 metering equipment to find out, uh, uh, you know, well, what, we're, what we're looking at. You know, the, and the, the, initial, the initial view is going to be basically a measurement of volts, and then after that, uh, probably volts in time, and that will sort of define where we go next in terms of the metering and measurement. So, uh, it's going to be an interesting year to see how far we can get and what, what things we can sort of start to see with this uh, uh, new look at uh, Tesla's, uh, Tesla's work. Uh, but that's about it for now. I'm starting to get tired. It's the end of the day for me, so I will see you again as of uh, a couple hours from now. I should get up in about 3, 4 o'clock. I should get up and start the day all over again. We'll see what happens. Anyways, that's it for tonight. We'll talk more about uh, the test uh, about Project Tesla uh, tomorrow. All right, bye bye.